Stephen Patrick C. Fernandez is a retired professor and founder and artistic director of the Integrated Performing Arts Guild or IPAG, a scholar, artist, and animator in Philippine performance, arts, and letters. Fernandez has published works spanning over four decades that have been widely recognized and anthologized. His noteworthy publications focus on his theories of transcreation and distillation, particularly principles he has developed through years of engagements acknowledged in dance and performance pedagogy. Fernandez developed the pioneering Culture and Art Studies program at the Mindanao State University Iligan Institute of Technology. He lectured in universities and keynoted several national and international conferences and was awarded fellowships to Sweden, Japan, and the U.S. Through IPAG, Fernandez has staged more than 50 productions acclaimed in over a hundred cities in Europe, the U.S. mainland, and the Asia-Pacific region. Foremost among these productions is Sita, the Ramayana Revisited, that drew raves in India, Bangkok, and Singapore. His other original plays include the award-winning Ranao, Isang Alamat, Ning Ning, Sari Manok, Uwahig, Datu Matu, and Datu Mangkalasi. His full-length dance music suite, Perlas ng Silangan, was mounted to celebrate the CCP Outreach Program's 40th anniversary last year. It was a national touring production which he directed and whose music he composed. Oh, you know, uh, back in MSU Marawi, uh, we were in college. I knew already Tibo. Uh, we used to play basketball. In the early 80s, I was again with him here at MSU IIT. And uh, I then knew that uh, he was really at the forefront, uh, the leader of IPAG that brought uh, prestige. I have designated him as uh, the director that uh, by creating the Culture and Arts uh, Center, we have integrated actually the management of all our cultural resources. With these uh, opportunities, he was able to bring to the world, to the nation, to the country, the uh, local cultures of uh, Mindanao. We have to uh, give credit to Tibo for also uh, uh, bringing a little of history to the uh, culture and art world. IPAG is quite uh, where it is now because of the leadership of, uh, of Tibo. He, uh, he is not content on uh, accepting what is, but on trying to innovate, you know, uh, on what we have for the development of uh, Mindanao culture and arts. I would see uh, a passion in him but I have also noticed something which uh, we should be emulated from, uh, from him, and that is the word humility. You know, despite uh, of what um, he has reached, he is able to maintain to be down to earth, to be as humble as possible. I first heard about the group IPAG and watched the Sarimanok, the performance of Sarimanok. Uh, I met Steve later. He was a colleague in the Department of English and um, I told him I liked the performance of Sari Manok and this is when I offered to bring the group to Siliman and he agreed. When, uh, when Sari Manok was brought to Siliman, this was IPAG's first no, exposure outside the, outside the campus. It was very successful. I think after the reviews came out, IPAG became a, was introduced to the national audience and became a household name in Iligan. One of the most important achievements or contributions of Steve to the development of culture and arts in Mindanao is his use of local lore and adapting this for theater. Um, another would be the trainings that he had conducted 
for the EPUG members and this will always be part of the development of the culture and arts in Mindanao. And it is very important that the young emulate or follow his example in order for culture and arts in Mindanao to flourish and this will not be forgotten. We should have, I believe, pride of place. And as an artist, I believe Steve deserves the award. His Tales from Mindanao, a transcreation of over 20 dance music vignettes from various Mindanao communities which perform to wide local and foreign audiences, is arguably the Philippines' most toured repertory production to date. It has spawned two sequels, Tatlo Sa Isa and Tribes for Peace, which were also performed worldwide. Fernandez is listed in the Cambridge 2001 edition of Who's Who in the World and in the International Biographical Center's 2000 Outstanding Intellectuals of the 21st Century. He was the recipient of various honors including the Carlos Palanca Literary Award, CCP Gantimpala and Outreach Pilak, UP Likhaan, and SM Global Pinoy Awards. The Writers' Union of the Philippines bestowed on him the Francisco Balagtas Award, a singular distinction for a creative writer in both English and Filipino. The Integrated Performing Arts Guild, or IPAG, the resident theater company of the Mindanao State University Iligan Institute of Technology, or MSUIIT, has significantly contributed to a robust culture and arts environment and has enhanced a consciousness for Philippine arts. The Guild has exerted its tremendous influences on creative production education, craft enhancement, management of creative resources, and social advocacy. IPAG's prominence as one of the more dynamic performance companies in the Philippines at present is well recognized. It highlights a theater characterized by a distinct form, movement, color, poetry, rhythm, and engaging presence with global appeal. Its signature dance idiom is based on the Pangalay, inspired by the dances of the Sulu Archipelago, introduced by dance researcher Ligaya Fernando Amilbangsa. Established in 1978 by its founding chairperson Ligaya Amilbangsa and artistic director Stephen Patrick C. Fernandez, IPAG is a recipient of various awards and endowments from international and national entities that have acknowledged IPAG's artistic and creative contributions. It has participated in major national and international cultural events. In the Port Sorsun Festival in France, IPAG emerged as the winningest country among the foreign cultural delegations. I'm Grace Valera, one of the executive directors of the Migrant Heritage Commission in Washington, D.C. I'm proud to have known the Integrated Performing Arts Guild for almost two decades now. Wow, almost 20 years! The very first time I've worked with them was when I was still the cultural officer and attaché of the Embajada de Filipinas in Madrid, Spain in 2002. IPA, led by its artistic director, Steven Fernandez, with its then choreographer, Nolly Sebalius, had left a remarkable impression that I was totally speechless myself after watching them, how they had transformed every performance into a very artistic, world-class interpretation of the Southern Philippine dances. IPAG had enthralled every audience that I did not hesitate to invite them again to my next diplomatic assignment, and that's the USA. Under the Migrant Heritage Commission, we had also arranged for them to perform at the world-famous Kennedy Center in the U.S. Capitol. 
leaving the American mainstream, including the U.S.-based Filipinos, totally captivated. Everyone was raving at the vibrancy of every Ipag dance, with all of them saying that never before had they seen something as spectacular as that, where their heart would beat with excitement at every dance execution. In 2018, we brought them back to the USA. Steve Fernandez has maintained a highly acclaimed dynamism in the performing arts. He really went beyond the extraordinary of thinking outside the box. And he, together with the entire EPUB, brought to the world stage the colorful culture and the peaceful side of Mindanao, which could be something new to some Americans, but always heard of Mindanao as not so peaceful region. Congratulations, EPUB and Steve Fernandez. These are well-deserved awards that will inspire us here in the United States and Filipinos living abroad to continue promoting and taking pride of our unique Filipino culture. Maraming salamat at mabuhay kayong lahat sa Ipag. The storied reputation of Ipag is stamped on over 40 full-length productions presented worldwide. Ipag has enthralled hundreds of thousands in North America, the Hawaiian Islands, all over Europe and Asia. In South Korea, they performed for the 2002 World Cup, and in Monaco, they gave a command performance for Prince Albert. Its versions of the Ramayana were featured in major festivals in India and Thailand, including the 2018 India ASEAN Summit, where the performances were widely applauded and praised. Ipag continues to represent the country in dance, theater, and international festivals. Its engagements are perhaps the most extensive for any repertory company in the Philippines. Dr. Stephen P.C. Fernandez. In 
Integrated Performing Arts Guild. Those who have stood with us are still with us today. There are too many to mention. Too many. And this includes our families, audiences, communities, artists, teachers, benefactors, cultural resources, and the MSUIIT. The same persons who stood by the Guild ages ago are still around, working as volunteers, keeping the creative flame burning, encouraging advocates, training, and simply contributing what they love to do. Around the world, too, are some of the original 12 who prop up EPUG in its nascent years without benefit of resources, without funds, without a theater. The CCP opened avenues for us after ENSA with outreach allowing us the explorations we have enjoyed here and abroad. There will be no performance, no theater without the audiences, communities, and the artists and cultural workers around us for whom we have built our work on. No inspiration without our families, my own Sophia and Lani. There will be no EPUB, no Gador, no theater movement, no school, and perhaps a culture torn by neglect without all these parts coming together. Beyond the accolades, the dramaturgy we have established, the thousands who have inculcated the practice we preach, our international networks, and the signature theater is the culture that we believe has been strengthened by the energies we have expended. In the Amin ng Gador, ang may ari ng Gador, ang ang pamayanan, we are its mere keepers. Mabuhay tayong lahat.